Team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video, and we got some big updates uh, for all Baltimore Ravens. A lot of different things we're going to cover, and I wrote it all down so I didn't forget anything. But I'm sure I will probably forget something, and y'all will gladly give me a nice reminder. Uh, but anyway, before we get into it, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we had 68,000 strong, so I appreciate all of y'all, man, for real. Because y'all been spreading the word about the channel, telling people y'all been subscribing yourselves, leaving likes on the video and all that. So thank you. One last thing, make sure you turn the notifications all the way on. Turn them on so you don't miss anything. I don't want you, because y'all and Ravens stay busy, as y'all know. So I don't want y'all to miss nothing. So um, as we know, and as y'all know, I was really happy, especially yesterday, because uh, the Ravens signed somebody that I've been wanting them to sign for a very long time, and that was Jadavian Clowney. Um, now, yesterday, I told y'all in the video, like, I, I wasn't worried about how much the contract was worth, even though I figured it would be like a one-year deal. Uh, and it is a one-year deal. Uh, it's a one-year deal worth up to $6 million, but uh, it's the base of it is $2.5 mil, and that's the guaranteed part. So, Jadavian Clowney has $3.5 mil in incentives. Um, what those incentives are, we don't have the details on that, um, but... Yeah, so they got him for one year, 2.5 mil. Will he earn those? Hey, if he earns the incentives now. Now, now see, that's what we want. As Ravens fans, that's what we, we want the players to earn the incentives because the incentives are usually not likely to be earned. But when they earn them, that means the players went off. That means they did their thing. That means they went crazy. So we want the players to earn them incentives and get that extra money. Uh, so we'll see how Jadavion Clowney does. But with Jadavion Clowney, something that I wasn't a very big fan of was his number. <laughs> <His number. laughs> now, unless you're David Clowney going to suit up and play some cornerback or something, then, hey, I'm all for it, but his number is going to be 24 for now. Ooh, that's so nasty. Ooh, that's so nasty, man. But anyway, um, I think that he's probably just waiting until cut down. Or, but uh, ugh, I don't want to see no 24 on the DN rushing the fact. Ugh, that would be so nasty, man. But anyway, that's his number for now. It's number 24. So shout out to Marcus Peters for that one. Um, anyway, uh, Jadavion Clowney, it's, it's always been talked about him that he's not really that into it, that he's not committed, that he's lazy, that he's this, that he's that. Uh, he's starting off good, and I know he just signed a contract and whatnot, so it, it's easy to start off good, but not finish, but he start, he's off to a good start uh, because they said that something that he didn't have to do, but he did it. He was, they said he stood there and watched the last 45 minutes of practice. Uh, and he was talking and meeting some of the new teammates and whatnot, getting acclimated. So that's a good thing, man. That's a really, really good thing. Um, so, and he talked to Garrett Downing. Shout out to Garrett Downing, too. But he talked to Garrett Downing, and he just said, hey, with the Ravens, the culture, they, they just want to win here. They want to win, and that's what I'm about. He said, don't nothing else matter in the NFL but winning. And that's something that we talked about um, with a lot of players. They, it's not all about winning to players. Because it's not, because it's your job. You're trying to make money. So winning is cool, but you're trying to make money first. Um, but Jadavion Clowney said that he's all about winning. Well, I know you're all about that money, too, which ain't got no problem with. Ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with trying to get both, too. Trying to win and get the bread. So Jadavion Clowney, he, he came to the right team to do that this year. Um, also, uh, John Harbaugh, he spoke about Marlon Humphrey. Uh, and he said Marlon Humphrey should be back in the season um, and in the early part of the season. Excuse me. Uh, and he also said that they should start. They should be able to start asking when he'll be back in a few weeks. Because there was a reporter that asked, "Hey, so what's the update on Marlon Humphrey? We got a timetable on him." He's like, "I'm not giving no timetable." He said, "I'm not doing that." <laughs> but he said he should be, be, be he should be back in the early part of the season. So shout out to that. Now, uh, really exciting news. Um, Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman. He was practicing yet, like really practicing yesterday. He said he was involved in the seven on sevens and whatnot. So he he's it's, stuff is ramping up for <laughs> for Rashad Bateman, man. So it's like, yeah, we, we did lose Marlon Humphrey. We lost Marlon Humphrey, which is for a little bit, which is unfortunate. But we got Bateman back. We got Jadavian Clowney. And we got J.K. Dobbins ramping up, too. Because they said he participated in full team activity. So we knew J.K. Dobbins was back, but now he's all the way back. He's all the way back, like officially now. So that's a beautiful thing. When you, and of course for the Baltimore Ravens, as we all, especially around this time of the year, it's nice when you get guys back, guys start coming back healthy and whatnot. So that's a, a great thing for J.K. Dobbins, too, and really just for the entire team. Uh, because J.K. Dobbins, this could be a big year for him. Um, now, speaking of running backs, real quick, uh, shout out to my guy Jason from Huddle Up Films. I was talking to him the other day, 
And he brought up this really good point, and I think it's something that we should really, really watch out for. Um, he talked about how with Gus Edwards, because me, y'all know me, I've been saying, hey, J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards, 1A, 1B, um, the, for the Ravens running back situation. Uh, but he brought something to my attention that in the preseason game, in Ravens open practice, whenever we've seen it, and even the, uh, the joint practices with the commanders, that with the Ravens in J.K.'s absence, it's been Justice Hill getting the carries with the uh, the first team offense before Gus Edwards, and then like we saw, remember in the preseason game too, it was Justice Hill out there before Gus Edwards, and now obviously that wasn't even the first team offense, but still Justice. So they've been trying Justice Hill out there before Gus Edwards, so he wonders um, what Gus Edwards' role could be. Could that be indicative of what Gus Edwards' role? could be and maybe that this offense it may not be the best fit for Gus Edwards but hey we'll see so we'll obviously watch the preseason game in a couple of days and that's coming up on uh, Monday night by the way so y'all stay tuned for that y'all know of course we'll be live streaming that uh so Monday night football we got Monday night football in the preseason so that should be a good time um but yeah we'll watch out for that now somebody else who returned it was Jalen Alma Davis Jalen Jalen Alma Davis is back so it's it's a beautiful thing um, when you just guys just keep coming back, man. And especially at cornerback, because yeah, y'all we ain't got to go over the cornerback situation. Y'all know what the cornerback situation is already, and it's an ugly situation. It's a rough situation, but the more the merrier. So got Ronald Darby. He's wearing number thirty three. We got Melvin Gordon. He's wearing number thirty three. That could get a little awkward. Who's gonna keep it? Who's, so yeah. But anyway, uh, a lot of guys just waiting for cut down day. Um, so yeah. And also, uh, yeah, we talked about the Ravens game coming up against the Commanders. Uh, some, some of y'all brought up some really good points uh, because with the whole Mark Andrews thing, the Mark Andrews slam, uh, there were some people that said that one of the Commanders went after Mark Andrews' knees or his legs. I didn't see it, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't know because the angle, we only saw Mark Andrews catch it and get knocked out. Uh, and then we saw the slam. I I couldn't see see if anybody went through for his legs or not from that angle. Um, but something that uh, a couple of people brought out, and I was like, oh, that's a really, really good point. Um, some Commanders players could look at that Mark Andrews slam like it was cheap, like it was a cheap shot. Um, so would hope that obviously they're not – well, there probably won't be many starters playing in this game. I initially thought like after the first preseason game and then seeing Patrick Mahomes play, seeing – uh, Derek Carr play. I'm like, oh, next preseason game, yeah, Lamar gonna play. He probably gonna play like a series of two. But when Marlon Humphrey went out, I was thinking, oh no, yeah, no, Lamar ain't playing. Um, and then Harbaugh did mention how this next preseason game is pretty much gonna be the same as the previous one, as far as starters playing and whatnot. So I mean, we'll see. Um, but somebody, but a lot of y'all mentioned how it's possible that the Commanders could look at the Mark Andrews thing like a cheap shot, and they 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 may take cheap shots. Uh, at some of the Ravens players to sort of send a message. I would hope not, but you never know, man. You never know. They may be looking for some get back, man, but we'll see. So anyway, that was it. We covered everything. Unless there's something that I missed again. Like, like I said, I know y'all let me know, but yeah, man, we got uh, some questions from subscribers coming up probably between today and tomorrow. Um, definitely by tomorrow. Uh, we may even have two episodes of questions from subscribers by tomorrow. Um, so y'all look out for that And then yeah The game is on Monday And boom There we go So And then we start a brand new week Of all the craziness <laughs> Oh boy Hey man I, I um Just before we get out of here I gotta say I really appreciate y'all man I, I really really do I really appreciate y'all for having supported To su Supported to where you all allow us to to do what we do. You all, because if it wasn't for you all support, we would not be able to do this uh, as an actual job. Um, it did take a lot. It, it still takes a lot uh, to maintain and sustain it and whatnot. But you all are a huge part of that process. Seriously, man. I ain't just saying that to just to say. I ain't trying to sound like oh, accepting an award speech. Oh well, thanks to oh you. All, no, 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 no. For real, y'all, y'all are a huge part. Because if, if y'all didn't support the way that y'all support it, we, we could not do this uh, full time, man. So I really, 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 really appreciate y'all uh, big time. Um, got some, 
Ooh, got something going on with the channel that I will uh, I need some help with um, very soon. Uh, but I will uh, we'll talk about that. Yeah, we'll talk about that actually like really really soon. Um, and I'll let y'all know because I'm 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 sure a lot of y'all will be able to help in that aspect. Uh, and it's something kind of different. It's kind of like bad news, but it's like uh, the channel's fine, but. It's an aspect, a big aspect of the channel that's going to be changing, and I don't want it to change, but it has to change because, anyway, we'll, we'll talk about that uh, very, very, very soon. I, I'll let y'all know. So, yeah, man, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, and we out.